Good morning everyone, it is Saturday morning and Ashley and I are going for a walk. Just now walked down to the boat ramp and back. Uh, it is muggy, I'd want it to, it's about 9 o'clock, I'd want it to go at like 7, but we had a thunderstorm go through, so had to wait for that to go through. I didn't feel like getting hit by lightning. I'm sure you didn't feel like getting hit by lightning either. <laughs> but again, we could have had Jessica's here. <laughs> Jessica wakes up with the poofiest hairstyles. It's, I don't know what she does when she sleeps, but... Uh, but all right, we're just gonna go for a walk. This is probably about two mile walk and go down to the boat ramp and then back. This is a parking area for Spring Lake Beach. Good parking here. Uh, this is gonna be mobbed today. It is so muggy and it's supposed to be up around 85, so. They are going to be busy. I don't envy them. The lifeguards and the attendants down here work their tails off. Dealing with the people that come here. You agree? Yeah. Alright, so going on our walk, we are walking right along the Blackout Management Area. It's a huge hunting area. Come October, that's all you hear in the morning, shotguns going off. First year that Lee and I lived up here. 6 a.m. on the first day of hunting. Must have been like 20 shotguns went off. Both Lee and I rolled off the bed, hit the floor, and held our heads because we're from the city of Pawtucket. And Lee's from Woonsocket. We had lived in Pawtucket. You hear gunshots in Pawtucket, you hit the floor. Up here, it's a normal thing. So, took a little, a little while to get used to it. Walking, you know, driving down the main street and you see three guys walking with shotguns over their shoulders. Kind of, kind of threw a red flag up the first time I did it. But now you drive by, you don't eat, if they have an orange vest on, it doesn't even phase you. But it's gorgeous out. This is absolutely beautiful. Could be like this all year long. So we're about halfway done with our walk. And we're gonna continue. Ashley's just hiding over here because she doesn't want to be on camera. Come on, say something, Ash. Say something. <laughs> She hates when I do that. Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay, let's change the subject. <laughs> God, she hates when I do that. Don't you? <laughs> All right, we should be at the fishing area in a couple of seconds. Uh, I don't know. Spring Lake Boat Brand. Uh, I usually go fishing down here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this area, I definitely, I gotta gut my fishing license this year. Uh, the only problem with fishing here is it gets overrun with weeds a little bit. And if you try to come here at night, you get some off. There's about 10, 15 people fishing from this little area, so it gets tough. So you gotta take the boat out. And by the time I get home, it's and everything to take the boat out. It's a pain in the butt. But. All right, we're still continuing with our walk. We're about 90% done. We're almost at the house. We took Decide, a long way. Yeah, taking a long way. We're gonna walk up by um, Spring Lake Beach, the pavilion, so and show you guys what it looks like. So, gorgeous day, absolutely gorgeous day out today. This is Spring Lake. It is. It's a bouncy slide. What the heck? Wow, you can see how much the caterpillars ate the trees. More. Look at right behind the pine trees. Oh wow, yeah, it's all brown. Holy mackerel. And summer. <laughs> wow, they really did chew them apart over here. Wasn't too bad in our yard this year, but I guess it's pretty bad down here. Oh God, look at the people waiting to get in. Busy over there, people waiting to get on the beach. All right, so this is Spring Lake Beach. I did just go down that turtle slide. You see that little tiny one? Yeah. <laughs> this is Spring Lake Beach. Oh, the beach looks really nice this morning. The sand and everything, really clean. Okay. 
bridge and that over there is the arcade. That building said arcade. Oh, they built a little seating area on the other side. It's been no, a while since so it's a, Really? Last time I came the down that- The arcade's that... over there. That's the food. Oh, okay. Yeah, one side's the food. Oh, like that swing set, the slides and everything. That wasn't here the last time I came down. No, they built another one. That one way in back has always been there. The brown one. The arcade over there has video games. It has old arcade games. God, my, my father used to come up here and play them. It's like one of the oldest penny arcades in the yeah. country. Yeah, it's like the, I think it is the oldest penny arcade in the country. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. It's nice to have in the neighborhood. Uh, traffic can get to be a pain in the butt. Crowds can get to be a pain in the butt, especially this weekend. Fourth of July gets really busy. So people waiting to get in. Are you all the way over there, Ash? Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, we just finished up our walk. Oh, it's warm and muggy. You really, really couldn't do the walk after this or a run or anything like that. <laughs> Today, you'd have to get the walk done by, like, it's, what is it now? Probably about 9? By like 9 o'clock. 10.02. Is it? Oh my gosh. We're going an hour. Uh, yeah. I mean, 10 o'clock was too late. I, like I said at the beginning, I wanted to go out about 7, 8 o'clock, but we had a thunderstorm going by. So really didn't feel like getting hit by lightning. So, but that uh, was a good walk. It was nice. Got the blood pump in, and now I got the rest of my day. I'm going to have to go take a shower and get redressed again. All right, everyone, I am all showered up, ready to go on the day. I got to go grocery shopping. I hate grocery shopping, <laughs> but... We're gonna go with Lee. Lee and I are gonna go out for a little while. Girls stay here if they want. If they don't want to go, so we'll head out. But um, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a little muggy, but it is gorgeous out here. Uh, temperature's probably about 85 degrees. Doesn't get much better in the summertime. Uh, expecting some thunderstorms tonight. We we're gonna go see some fireworks over in Putnam, Connecticut. But with, depends on if the thunderstorms are coming. Right, so. We're gonna try pot two of doing BJ's and hopefully Miss Jessica doesn't end up with a headache again. Do you think we can do it? Yeah. We're at BJ's again. They like said hopefully Jess doesn't end up with another migraine. Well, I'll get you a focus on Ashley because she'll get so mad at me for doing it. Hi Ash. How you doing? How you doing? What's up? Hi. Alright, so we're going into BJ's. Alright, all done at BJ's, gonna head home. I just went to put my GoPro up on the windshield and the friggin' clip broke. Second one I've broken. <sighs> so I'm gonna have to get a new one of those. I'll hopefully have another one at home. So get that fixed up. So until then, there's gonna be no dash cam. Uh, so we're heading home. Uh, not sure what we're gonna do tonight. We got thunder coming in right now, rain and very windy. So I'll get with you later. Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, we're back from the store. Uh, Sorry if this wind is interrupted. I'm not sure whether the mic's picking up on the wind or not. But uh, we just got back from BJ's and I had a message on uh, my YouTube, uh, the YouTube message, whatever. And someone saw me at the store and recognized me. That was the coolest thing. It's the first time as I've been making videos that someone has recognized me. So I appreciate it for the person that recognized me you should have come up to me and said hi if you recognize me come up and say hi I, I get I got a kick out of it it's it was pretty cool so yeah that just kind of brightened my day um, we're home right now uh, probably gonna be here most of the night we're, there's fireworks in Putnam but it looks like we're gonna get some rain so I think we're gonna kind of hang close and plan on doing fireworks on Monday night they have them in Pawtucket on Monday night so we'll probably do them then uh, and not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. Really don't know what we have planned for tomorrow. So, anyway, like I said, I just I just thought that it was so cool that someone recognized me from the videos that I had done. I really didn't think that many people watched them where they would recognize me. So, thanks for thanks for sending me the message. You brightened up my day on that one. See you <laughs> the <library. laughs> That's what you got to do to get rid of it, right, Jess? Go ahead. Please don't, you're gonna get stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> the sky needs to see. 
Yeah, come on. Me. <laughs> and then we'll no. And you wonder, you wonder why I am gray. <laughs> I was coming over here to compliment my wife on making sausage subs for supper tonight. Then I got greeted by the Mormon Tuberculosis Choir. Ha <laughs> ha. You know it. Shingles Choir. <laughs> yep. My poor sick baby over here. Thought she had a rash. Ended up she had roofing shingles on her. We, we get a leak and this thunderstorm's coming, hon. We could just put you up on the roof. Yeah, why not? We're going to have uh, sausage subs. Just like get at Fenway. The only difference, hon, is those sausage and peppers. You have had to, sitting there for six weeks. Yeah, you had to put them on the grill in April. Uh, that's one of the things, though. If you go ever go to Fenway, for those of you that have been to Fenway, you got to get a sausage sub. I, they're they're incredible. I mean, oh, delicious. But those vegetables have been on the grill for a long time, and really worry about how long those sausages have been there too. So if you want one, go go to a game in April or May. We're going to eat supper in a few minutes. I'll show you the subs once they're done. Like I said, they deliciously does a good job on them. So I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes. All right. We cooked up all the sausage, peppers, and the onions, and this is the result. They look wicked good. And Ashley was over there just saying they're delicious. So I'm gonna eat my supper and thanks for watching my video. If you like what you saw, please click the thumbs up over here. If you want, you can subscribe below here and click the bell icon that'll give you notifications. If you want, you can click up here to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can click right here. If you want to see a video from about a year ago, click right here. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.